Hello, good morning, students. Welcome to my class, English for Grade 11, Senior High School. Still with me, Coach Ahmad Riwayadi. Looking at these pictures, I am positive that you have already known what we are going to talk about. Yes, this morning, we are going to discuss one of natural phenomena, that is tsunami. As usual, before we discuss the passage, uh, we have to learn the new vocabularies related to the topic. And there are some new vocabularies we are going to uh, learn. They are tremendous, exerted, destructive, commonly, inappropriate, vastness, shallow, and damage. Let's discuss the vocabularies word by word. Let's start with the first word. Tremendous. Tremendous. Adjective. Tremendous means great. Huge. In Bahasa Indonesia we say sangat besar. Sangat banyak. Dark shot. See the example in this sentence. We have a tremendous amount of work to get through. Kita memiliki jumlah pekerjaan yang sangat banyak untuk diselesaikan. Exert. Exert. Verb. To exert means to push out, to put forth. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say melontarkan. See the example of this sentence. A well-funded national organization would be able to exert more influence in parliament. Organisasi nasional yang memiliki dana yang bagus akan bisa melontarkan pengaruhnya di parlemen. Destructive. Destructive. Adjective. Destructive means damaging. Devastating. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say merusak. Menghancurkan, meluluhlantakkan. See the example of this sentence. Some experts have conducted a study to find the destructive effects of unemployment on individuals. Sejumlah pakar telah melakukan penelitian untuk menemukan dampak buruk pengangguran terhadap individu. Commonly, commonly, adverb. Commonly means usually, normally. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say pada umumnya, biasanya. See the example of the sentence. We have to learn the method most commonly used by researchers. Kita harus mempelajari metode yang paling umum digunakan oleh para peneliti. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Adjective. Inappropriate means improper, unsuitable. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say tidak sesuai, tidak layak. See the example of the sentence. Clearly, the punishment is inappropriate for the crime. Jelas sekali, hukuman tersebut tidak sesuai dengan kejahatannya. Vastness. Vastness, noun. Vastness means hugeness, immensity. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say luasnya, besarnya. See the example of the sentence. The vastness of the topic overwhelms most readers. Luasnya topik tersebut merisaukan sebagian besar pembaca. Shallow, shallow, adjective. Shallow means low, not deep. In Bahasa Indonesia, we say dangkal. See the example of this sentence. The shallow end of the pool is only three feet deep. Pinggiran kolam yang dangkal itu hanya tiga kaki dalamnya. Damage. 
damage noun damage means destruction harm in bahasa indonesia we say kerusakan see the example in the sentence the house suffered on the superficial damage in the fire rumah tersebut hanya mengalami kerusakan sedikit akibat kebakaran well students that is the end of part one thanks very much for joining my class once again learn and learn the vocabularies see you